Hello all, uh, today we will see how to run our uh, React application using the GitHub code space. So we will open the, our uh, React repository and I will just click on the code space. So which will open a container so where uh, the code will be get uh, running up. So once the container image has been built, so we can see the visual code uh, editor has been uh, shown up. So which is uh, having our code. So now it will uh, start installing the extensions and the Node.js uh, and the npm packages which is needed to run uh, this application. The extensions or the VS Code extensions, so which we have installed in a local machine. So since uh, we have done the sync settings for the VS Code, so whatever the extensions which we are having in our local machine will be get installed wherever we open VS Code if we have uh, enabled the account. So once the extensions been installed and the Node.js has been installed, we can see how we can run our application, the React application without using our local machine. So we'll be running the entire React application in a browser. So you can check out the plans of the code space, so which we'll attach in the description. So all the setups like how to enable the code space in your uh, GitHub account. So I attach those descriptions, so details in the descriptions, uh, which you can see it out. So now we'll uh, wait for a couple of minutes for the extensions to be get installed as well as the Node.js and the NPM packages to get installed for this application to get up and running. So now you can see like a few extensions been getting installed in the background. And um, so we can uh, see the get started has been getting updated with the extensions which we have. So it's been getting added up. So we can see the progress on the sidebar. So where this extension's been getting added up. So now uh, we'll wait a few minutes for the node to get installed and running. So the node's been installed. Now we'll uh, try to run our application. So before that, we'll just check out our code. So all the package files been installed. Okay, we'll now run our code. So we'll use the command npm and start. So it's been um, running. So the port has been opened and we'll just click on that button. So which will open the application so it's been so we can see the react application is up and running in our browser even without using our, our local machine so where we use just the code space to run our application so you can see um all the click events and other things been getting called up as expected so there is no issues on that one so we'll just uh, look into the code base and the other stuffs which uh, we do it in our local machine so we'll uh, open up our code base so we'll do some uh, type uh, go to type our source definitions so we'll click on the source definitions uh, the type definition so it's been going it's been getting navigated properly and it works fine in the source definition as well so it just opens the package which we installed so now we'll uh, try to open the package.json file and see whether we can i'm sorry uh, the readme file whether we can able to view the markdown files so the svg file has been opened we'll just open the readme and uh, we'll just uh, preview it using the markdown preview so this extension is working now we'll uh, try to use the Zen mode, so whether it works in the browser. So this this is also working fine. I think more or less whatever the things which we had in our local machine has been working fine. So that's it uh, with this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye.